Kirchhoff. The Wallabies scrum proved to be a talking point for their performance and win of the All Blacks. Impressed with the forwards' drive, prop Scott Seo admitted there were areas of improvement for game two of the Bledisloe. We had some good scrums on the weekend, but we had some scrums where we could, you know, we really need to improve as well. So uh, I think that's something we're just going to keep searching for and, and keep building on as the week goes on. Everything that we did on the weekend, we're going to need to do better uh, on Saturday over there. So. Uh, when you look at it that way, there's plenty of stuff to work on. Wallaby great George Gregan also popping into training earlier in the week for a chance to run with the team and assist with the backs. I was speaking to George the other day, so just come down and have a run. I think um, a lot of players <clears throat> just need, our players need to get to know some of these guys a bit better, you know what I mean? They see them out and commentating and doing stuff like that, but just the chance to run with them and have a word and... Nothing in particular, just come by and have Chica has made a number of changes to his starting side with Quade Cooper and Nick White at the halves and David Pocock to start off the bench. All Blacks coach Steve Hansen has also made three changes to his side for the Bledisloe Cup decider at Eden Park on Saturday. Ma'a Nonu will replace Sonny Bill Williams while Sam Whitelock and Victor Vito also make an appearance to the starting 15. Yeah, we're pretty much straight back into our work and uh, pretty positive about our chances this weekend. You know, as a forward pack, uh, we took quite a bit of a hit. We weren't proud of our performance there, so uh, if anything, uh, we're just looking to make sure that uh, we shore up uh, certain areas, just especially that, uh, that scrum, obviously, and just around the field, making sure that we give our backs a quicker ball. Because right now, there's a very important cup that's uh, up for grabs at the moment, and we'd uh, really want it to uh, stay at home. All Blacks captain Richie McCaw will become the most capped player in Test Rugby, playing his 142nd match on Saturday. Rain Genia, National MTV Sports.